Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kendi Nadishani, and I'm a nursing officer from University Hospital KDU. And today I will be presenting the results of a study titled Body Image Perception Among Biloni Amputees in Sri Lanka. First of all, let me introduce you to our topic. Well, if a limb is damaged beyond saving or when it's dead or dying, or when a limb is not functioning, even though it's viable, or when the remaining limb poses a threat to a patient's life, a limb amputation is performed. Limb amputation affects the person's life in almost every aspect, such as physical aspects, socially, psychologically. And when it comes to the limb, it is a vital body part of our body. So uh, once the limb is lost, it is it causes a huge body image disturbance. Even though the body image disturbance is a major blow to one's life, it is often neglected as a concern in most of the healthcare settings. So we thought of finding out the extent of body image perception among the Biloni amputees in Sri Lanka. When it comes to the study sample, we recruited 100 males and females using simple random sampling method. And we uh, recruited people who are aged 20 to 80 years and who have had a unilateral lower limb amputation at least one year back. So these uh, patients represented all the rehabilitation settings in Sri Lanka. And we used ABIS, which is known as Amputee Body Image Scale, to measure the body image perception of the amputees. When the people scored higher to the ABIS scale, it depicted that they had higher body image disturbance. If we move on to the results, the majority of the participants were males, that is around 70%. And uh, most of the people, that is around 41%, belong to the age category of 41 to 60 years. And when it comes to the type of amputation, most of the people have had transtibial amputations, that is around 54%. When it comes to the mean values uh, received by the participant for the ABIS scale, that is 56.1 with a standard deviation of 15.8 that is above the average, that is above 50% of the scale. So when it comes to the variables, we found out that the age, amputation type, income, education level, and the marital status uh, was significantly associated with the body image, with the people who are aged 66 to 75 years having the lowest level of body image disturbance, and the people who have had higher education level showed high amount of body image satisfaction. Gender and the profession of the amputees did not significantly correlate or associated with the body image. So to conclude, we can say that the unilateral lower limb amputees in the study have scored more than 50% uh, indicating a lower body image satisfaction. So there is a higher need of improving the body image satisfaction among the Biloni amputees in Sri Lanka that should be done especially during the rehabilitation process. So uh, programs like counseling programs and patient education programs can be used to improve the body image perception among the Biloni amputees in Sri Lanka. So uh, thank you very much for allowing us to uh, participate uh, to the conference and also to present. So I would like to thank uh, the Ethical Review Committee of the University of Sri Javadunapura for granting the ethical clearance uh, for this study. And also I would like to thank the study settings, uh, Colombo Friendly Indian Indian Society and the Center for Handicapped Candy for allowing us to uh, uh, cooperate with the uh, participants. And also thank you very much uh, for you all for having us today. Thank you very much.